Good morning rockers. I'm here in sunny Ireland. Well, you know, it's actually a nice day because it's not raining. I'm here in sunny Ireland in uh, County Sligo. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about the, um, you know, about the way things are going at the moment. It's been a few weeks, maybe over a month since I made a video so you know it's probably time to update you on what's going on around here the uh, the studio room that you saw me walking into and discussing and uh, talking about how I could soundproof it etc yeah that was kind of a bust because we're not going to be buying this piece of property instead we're going to uh, find another piece of property that's in a town or just off a town somewhere because we need the human interaction I need uh, a job at some point and uh, you know we need to be around people also I like the idea of being able to play my music somewhere and uh, here in the middle of the country this is where we are there's not much going on they have a thing here called trad short for traditional music and uh, it's kind of strange you know it's kind of like uh, what you can imagine folksy Irish music sounds like on a loop for about five hours or so some people love traditional Irish music but that's not what I'm here for I'm here to broadcast the message of dub and reggae as I see these are really international uh, styles of music not dependent on any one country certainly dub is an international sound so while at first I thought it'd be really great to set up a studio in that bedroom it sort of later turned out it was full of mold very moldy as I was peeling away the wallpaper I just found more and more mold it's quite upsetting and uh, you know you can't work in a room that's not healthy you need to have a room set up that is number one dry so the equipment doesn't go weird or rusty and number two it needs to be a space where you can build in or build on and because we're only renting this place I don't have the opportunity to build in or build on because I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars or hundreds of euros trying to uh, build that great sound studio and then have to leave yeah so maybe by the end of the year we found a new place somewhere closer to town closer to the action and uh, you know with any luck with a bit of nightlife and a bit of uh, you know sort of young people a lot of people out here are quite old I'll give you a look at the countryside yeah this is cow country you can actually see some cows down there poppy's having a look that's the Kelly's farm yeah this is all cow country out here you know the next biggest town is called uh, Gertine and that next biggest town has uh, I think four pubs I don't know if they play live music uh, but they have one petrol station one farmers sort of shop and uh, and one grocery store so we're really in the middle of nowhere we're also about four or five kilometers from that grocery store and those four pubs so we're really in the middle of 
Oh, we're just east of nowhere. I'm not poo-pooing this place, it's quite relaxing. It's definitely a, a calming environment. Ireland is a nice place to come for a change of pace. And uh, I could definitely say it is a change of pace coming into the country like this. And you know, maybe I'm a bit jaded by working in Vienna City. You know, I expect things to happen on time. I expect things to be clean. I expect things to be up to date. But to tell you the truth, the number one reason, number one reason that I am not uh, really producing video clips or any music at the moment is because we don't have internet you're probably seeing this on YouTube and saying what do you mean you don't have internet but uh, I think I might have to borrow someone's computer and get online and post this video if not it might be a long time between drinks <laughs> uh, a long time between videos and uh, yeah that's the biggest drag not having internet means that I can't really uh, promote my new songs or my new music or even promote a new film clip even though I am working on new songs uh, it's a shame that I can't you know, get them out there and noticed by people because then no one else has internet out here like I said this really is cow country come on pops might film some cows in a second all right so we've moved uh, to Ireland we have all of our musical instruments and uh, electric piano and uh, you know some about 10 pedals or so so I'm ready I mean you know emotionally ready physically ready uh, to record more music and to make more tunes but unfortunately, we're not in the right position, sort of financially and uh, sort of geographically at the moment. So, I do like Ireland very much. It's a very nice place to be. Everyone, bar one or two people, have all been really friendly, really nice to us. Totally, you know, good sorts all round. But uh, it's a bit slow in some other respects. You know, we don't have uh, garbage service or rubbish taken away. A lot of the people around here are filling their cars with rubbish in their plastic bags. And then they uh, physically drive their own rubbish to the rubbish dump. And I think you can load or unload as much rubbish as you want for four euros it sounds like a good deal but it can't be that good a deal if you have to take your own garbage uh, and fill your car full of rubbish right up to the rafters in order to get your, your garbage taken away so yeah things are a bit slower here i don't know if you can see this place that's cash that lump there are some caves on the side of that lump and they're the caves of Kesh. It's an interesting place, there's no question. Poppy's looking for cows. She doesn't know where they've all gone. They move them around a lot so they don't destroy the, the ground too quickly. Come on Poppy. Yeah, the pace is pretty slow here. You have to forgive me for Sort of having a bit of a hiatus i uh, packed away my keyboard and my drum pad this morning because i realized without internet i'm not really motivated you know to get my music out there and to get out online you know also the house isn't really designed very well for me that uh my, my desk that i made is not very comfortable to sit behind so yeah i've got a lot of excuses but i guess the crux of it is I haven't produced any music for a while. I have worked on one song, which I guess I will uh, put out as soon as possible. It's called Fabio's Dub, or maybe Fabulous Dub. I've got a drummer that I've been chatting to online, and uh, 
think he's in Copenhagen at the moment, uh, but he's Italian and uh, he's a very, very nice guy. He does a, a great job, you know, he works in a circus and uh, he records the drums in his tent or in his, sorry, in his caravan at night. I think he uses garage band or something and he must have microphones for every part of his kit because he can send all of the necessary stems. It's very, very nice to be able to work with people online. But like I said, I had the internet for just under, oh, about two weeks really. I had the internet, I really did, for about two weeks. And uh, in that time I was quite busy, quite, quite busy. Uh, you know, getting around and, uh, you know, uh, updating my pages and working on my, um, uh, what are they called? on my keywords, trying to improve my keywords so that people would find my videos easier. It's not that easy, but it takes a long time. Oh. And uh, yeah, so I had internet for like two weeks and then it sort of stopped. I called the company and they wanted to get 45 euros for two weeks of internet. And then I told the company I didn't want to use the internet service anymore uh, because it's, it's not good enough. I can't go along with that to pay 45 euros to pay for two weeks of internet. It was 150 gigabytes altogether that I used in two weeks and the company decided that 150 gigabytes is more than enough for any household, which is just simply not true because we, we live stream um, videos on, and we also stream Netflix, which is pretty important to us. Uh, but now with no internet, there's no Netflix, there's no live streaming. There's no YouTube videos except if I watch them on the telephone. And uh, I think you'll probably agree with me that filming things on the telephone doesn't usually come off as good as you'd expect. Especially if I can't edit. Maybe you can edit on the phone with an app. But again, you know, like I'm not going to be holding up one hand with the telephone and trying to film what I'm doing. Because I can't post the videos anyway. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm kind of stuck in the country for now. It might be a little while before we get back to business. But I promise, once uh, we get a new piece of property and once uh, we get everything online, meaning, you know, having an internet connection that's up to date and fast, uh, then will be an opportunity for us to hear my new music uh, and also to start um, mixing with other people again. I'm going to hit up a lot of these African vocalists that I've worked with in the past to create some new music. And I'm really looking forward to that. But as I said, without an internet connection, I can't even organize people to send me stems or uh, vocal stems. And uh, even though one person, uh, Sadiq Ashkur uh, from uh, Ivory Coast in Africa, he sent me a vocal just, you know, maybe three or four weeks ago. But I couldn't do anything with it because I can't download it. Um, yeah, that's been problematic. I didn't realize how important the internet was to me and my music and now I kind of realize that it's the crux of my music that I can get it out there and people can hear it and comment on it and then I get a buzz out of that and I'm motivated to record more music. Without the internet I'm not really recording anything right now. I will finish working on that tune with Fabio but I can't even send him that tune because I don't have internet connection. <sighs> yeah it's frustrating maybe I could use a cable and put the the song onto my telephone and then send it via email through my telephone, which I probably will do. But it's a very inefficient way to use my phone uh, because with the phone I only get six gigabytes, I think, uh, per month. So I shouldn't really go crazy with using up my phone credit for everything. Yeah, you didn't really tune in today to hear me complain. I'm just telling you that uh, there's going to be a hiatus. There is a hiatus and it's going on right now. Um, I'm not building the studio into that room because of the mold and uh, we're going to find a new place to live and that's taking up most of my time. Maybe I'll start making some videos about the house hunting but again I won't be able to post anything for a while. Thanks for tuning in. This has been More Base Workspace. I'm just telling you what's what at the moment. I don't know if that helped anyone, probably not, but it'll probably give you an impression of what Ireland is like. And I can tell you, Ireland, this part of Ireland, the countryside, the west side, 
uh, is uh, isolated. Yes, there's a deep feeling of isolation here in Western Ireland. Uh, you probably like that if you're overworked and overrun working in the city or something. But um, I didn't realize how much it would affect my uh, production. I didn't realize that not being around people was uh, going to adversely affect how much music I made. But I think also not having an internet connection is a lot like being isolated as well. Thanks for tuning in anyway. This has been John Green for More Bass Workspace. Thanks for having a look and uh, tuning in if you're all the way to the end of the video here. It's been 15 minutes of me just talking about why I can't produce music right now. But uh, I promise by 2020 you're going to see something pretty amazing because we've got some pretty good ideas of what we want to do and I'll definitely have a dedicated studio for that which means that we're going to have a great, great opportunity to make some more tunes. All right, thanks guys. See ya in the next video. More bass.